Hey guys, it's your girl Wandika, originally from Jamaica and I am actually in Jamaica doing this video. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I have gotten to the 2,000 subscriber mark. I am so excited and you know I will be giving away a journal. Comment down below on this video. Uh, make sure that you're subscribed, that you like this video. Entered. You will be entered into the draw for the free journal. All right, so I'll see you guys when I get back. Alright guys, before I show you my travel journal, I just wanted to show you the journal that I'll be giving away to the lucky subscriber. And remember, because I'm commemorating getting to 2,000 subscribers, I wanted to, you know, offer this to one of you. So what you will need to do, as I've said, is to make sure that you're subscribed, you like, and you comment under this video, and I will announce the, vid the the winner by random selection all right so this is the journal it's like made from an old book as you know i've been doing that too and it has some ephemera in here but it's mostly like tea dyed paper and lots of writing space right and some journaling cards that kind of stuff so So that's basically it you know this is just the usual way that I've journaled using an old book cover as you've seen so what I, is really compelling about it too is the um, the paper pack you know so lots of interest in terms of the patterns used the vintage feel right so this is the journal that I'll be giving away and I also wanted to show you something that I made once again I'm teaching a literature class and this one is early British lit so we'll be doing a lot of old text so I thought it would be fun if they have a journal that reflects that you know so I did some vintage journals like one signature envelope journals where you know decoupage some napkins on the cover then I painted um, using acrylic paint of course I put down some gesso just to make sure that it would adhere to the cover and then I put down some different shades of brown mostly like burnt umber and burnt sienna and red oxide those kinds of colors to get this kind of leathery feel and so it has texture and it feels a little bit old and of course tea dyed paper so that's basically I made up 30 I gave the rest in class and I had these left to make and so I hope they like it and I am told them that the reason I made it was so I could bring to life what they've been reading because most of them are not lit students it's a gen ed course so they are doing it because it's a requirement and they decided to select this particular lit class so I don't want it to be you know a drudgery I try as best as possible to make it as interesting and so if I were in the class I say how would I want to interact with material so writing two characters about characters and we started out with Beowulf and so I thought definitely this would be the way to go I also made some small ones for myself I don't know maybe I will put a few on the website if you know if people are interested in these I don't even know how much I would sell these small ones for because <laughs> you know I don't usually make this I, I made one really really small journal before and that was it but um, I was thinking I would use these as idea books for my writing but we'll see also in the video I'm going to show you how I've documented the August book because I did carry both of these with me to Jamaica because the first two weeks 
um, that I was there. I still had to do lists. I still took pictures and stuff. And then this was something I had with me all the time. Sometimes I would like even have, you know, money in here so that when I would walk around that I could just buy stuff that I needed and I wouldn't have to worry that, you know. So this was a really good thing to have. I changed the cover when I came back, but it's basically the same. So I'll show you this one after. Okay. So this... I showed you before that I had made the covers but I changed it a bit where the, um, Michaels had these books um, already like with a white paper and I figured that I preferred white paper than tea dyed paper so what I did was put fabric on the cover and just re-sewed it and just put regular white paper that was in there I re-sewed it in here. So, this was the cover and so I didn't want to lose the pattern of the cover so I turned it inside out and so that when I covered this side I was covering the white part okay and you I had brought these um, dates with me I cut these up and put them in the little plastic pouch that was in here um, the pouch broke so that's why it's not in here now but I, that's how I kept these and so I have my um, baggage um, sticker. I wanted to put that in there. And my and my boarding pass, the little stub parts I put in here, the bigger parts I put in the to-do book. And as you guys know, I had my Instax printer with me and Just so those of you who don't know what it looks like, this is the Instax printer and it has 10 um, of these film in here at a time and I only brought 20 so I had one pack installed in there and then I put and I had another 10 pack. I figured I really wanted to get the 60 pack. But I didn't get it in time so I tried to select one picture per day um, to see what was significant to put in here because the other pictures would end up in my to-do book anyway I had the washi tape with me and as I showed you in the prep video I brought these tropical themed ones as well as these tropical themed cards as well I wanted to remember i mean and i know you know coming from jamaica you know the things that are made there but i wanted to represent it in this trip so there are lots of labels of packages and things that are made in jamaica or product of jamaica you know and this i really love the spice one i can't eat too much of it being diabetic but of course i wasn't gonna go home and not eat spice bun right then this was the next day the fourth and interestingly this was part of the the date clip i had camera ready and i just figured that was great to put the picture underneath here uh, this is me swimming at doctor's cave and i got to eat some curry goat and rice and peas and this is these are just some washi tape so you see it didn't take me a lot and that's why sometimes I thought, okay, am I really going to write every day? Because I know people talk about the fact that when they go traveling and they have a traveler's notebook that they don't really have time to spend documenting if they want to enjoy themselves. But I found it was relaxing and also didn't take much. So washi tape, printing out pictures, writing stuff. And this I think I stay, I wrote when I was at the beach. Ran into a college friend. It was so good to see him. Of course, I said we have to take a selfie. These are some scraps that I had in my pouch. Another, remember, these are some other things that just um, that I had that day. But also just to remember, these are things that when I think about home, I think about these things like ginger beer and banana chips. <laughs> Yeah, 
I did not um, the first place I went to wasn't the best and that's why you know sometimes these you say look online for the comments what do people say about the place sometimes it's misleading you know so the place that I chose because it was really inexpensive turned out not to be a great place and I ended up going to another place in the end and I you know do some journaling about that this is me at the beach again I mean I didn't do much more than go to the beach eat food relax in the hotel but I was home and I was gonna see my folks later on in the trip so I just wanted to enjoy just like easy going being at the beach and so I had these washi tape um, as well that I got from Michaels and this I just made sure to put the part with the palm trees just you know as well and I had these stickers so I had a bunch of stuff with me and as I showed you guys before I also so I had stuff like this with me so I put this in my bag and <laughs> my sister is like okay you came prepared yeah I have I showed you guys my craft kit my travel craft kit and I was serious because the last time when I showed my um, New Mexico trip I was so happy to spend time working in it and I still enjoyed myself I still did what was required of me and I still went around and did things but the documenting of it was still great and then the six this was when I went home and then you know lots of writing and um, this is actually our Independence Day so when I got home to Jamaica to, to my parents we watched the independence celebrations on TV and that morning I had Aki and Sawfish which is our national dish and at home mommy made it as well I didn't even know it was already made and everything when I went home so I had Aki and Sawfish twice in a day when I had not had it for months and months and months and this was the bus ticket so that I went down on the Knotsford Express Sort of like a greyhound that we have in the States, so it, it was similar where you have to make sure you only have one um, check bag and so on, so that was good. Then this is a picture of my parents, of my family home, my mom. I'm like, mom, you want to take a selfie? She was game. She doesn't really love taking a lot of pictures, but she was... She was game. I was very happy about that. Um, some more products from Jamaica. Ting and True Juice. Different Jamaican flavors. Water. And I love the cranberry water. This was from my um, the Julie tree in the front of the yard. Then I put this down before I knew the change in plans. Because like my a friend my um one of my oldest friends she was going to be there and i knew she was because we talked about it and i thought great our trips would overlap and so we made plans to see each other we only had one day because she had gone to another part of the island and i was on the other part of the island and so we only had one day to see each other and so we were we were going to go to ocho Rios, but it didn't work out so we ended up going to devon house and this is her firstborn and she's so big now so surprised the last time I saw her she was two now she's eight and I met her youngest for the first time and her husband took the picture so he's not in the picture um, who is he's also um, high school um, new all the way from prep school or primary school as well and I love that I had these because even though it was more of a Hawaiian themed, a lot of the things were tropical and so related and so I, I put these in here just as interest. Alright, so this has some of my information so I'll just put this over here. This is my information in Jamaica so I, I won't put that. You, you guys know my mailing address here but so I'll just cover this. So anyway, I had to get my passport updated. 
because my interestingly my passport had expired but I had other travel documents that were up to date so they let me travel and they said in order to come back into the country you have to make sure you have an updated passport so that was one of the first things I did when I went home then my mom found this picture of me and I was like can I have it <laughs> Because interesting, this is when I was in high school, I think I was about 15 or 16. And uh, I thought, wow, look how different I was then. And, you know, made a little note about that. Then I got some tasty patties. And if you are Jamaican, you know that there is this big dispute between whether tasties or juicy beef is seen as a better patty i am on team tasty even though i like you know the variety of juicy beef i'm team tasty their patties are the best right but this trip i had all of them i had juicy beef tasty mothers right some more i got went to woolworth and got these i was getting some stationery of course i had to go home and get stationery because i wanted those jamaica books with like the national heroes and the motto and the national bird and those things on it as sort of a memento so i went to there and i and i remember i was like oh my gosh chubby these small little drinks and so i got some and of course put them in here this I got when I was at El Greco. This was just um, telling you about the attractions at um, Nine Miles, where this is Bob Marley's original home. And I kept this in here. I even put the receipt because when I went to go and pick up my passport, I couldn't go in because I was wearing sleeveless and I have a dress code. And so I had to go and buy a cardigan. <laughs> So, I did not plan to spend this money, but you will note that in this, I, even though I'm aware of what the money means and everything, but because I was taking money that I had from here and converting it, I had to keep track of how much of the money I was spending, so I converted it. So it's sort of like a 100 to 1, basically. It's like maybe 120, 122, 128 to 1, depending on where you go. So I just thought about it like 100 Jamaican to 1 US so that I would remember like how much of how much money I was actually spending in a US sense. Okay, so that's why I have some of those markings on there. Then I had to take some passport size pictures because I had to update my driver's license. And I had had gone twice because first was for the passport and then I said maybe let me take some more but I didn't even think to ask the guy let's reprint the um, the passport size ones I said well let's just take a new one because it's basically the same amount of money and he actually took this and I was like oh my gosh I look hor horrendous <laughs> And so I had to pay for it twice because you, you have to pay first before you take the picture. So there are no refunds. So I just had him reprint the one that I had done before, which is this one. And I preferred this. But oh my gosh, I just, I hate how I look in this. I look just sick and my hair isn't fixed properly. And he didn't even say anything. He just snapped the picture. Then this is my, and I, you notice I had these from before. The JUTC, this is like the city bus. And so I kept every one of those. Just it's, it's great because it offers a timestamp um, as well as the date so that you can know what's going on. This what I was writing about waiting for the driver's license. And here's the old one. I won't show you because it has some of my information. But this used to be what we call in Jamaica bag juice. So it's those little juice that they sell you in little bags. And I was at the terminal, so I was going back home by public transportation, and I bought one of these sorrel ones. And sorrel is very popular at Christmas time, but I was very happy to see that they had sorrel year round now. And so um, I got that, and I thought this would make a great pocket. So I cut off one side of the bag and glued it down and um, made a pocket and I went back to Tasty and got one patty and 
as I showed you how much actually spent and um, same thing here um, one time that I went to Woolworth I realized I was spending like three dollars on a pen when I spend like I have a million pens but you guys know how I love pens and papers and stuff like that but I was like three dollars for a pen when I can buy two pens for a dollar at the Dollar Tree that's great I eventually went back and got it because this pen was phenomenal I wish I had bought four or five pens because they're just they're so much they're superior to any other pens that I have in my whole collection and I was so sad that I only went back and got one right then this is when I this was Saturday I went to church with my folks and this is my dad I said since I took a selfie with mom, let me take a selfie with you too. I only want to make sure that we have lots of pictures. And daddy's like, you love taking so much pictures. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And there are my folks. All right. So I actually had did this one when I came back because... I did have another book but I didn't I only just put a but a bunch of stuff in it and I didn't really glue down anything much I had another book that I transcribed stuff from in here because I wanted it to have continuity so I got one more of these books they use the same fabric to cover it and then so basically this was the 13th I went back to my alma mater for graduation. Of course, we have more of the um, products from Jamaica. This was on a sketchbook that I put in later. And these were some of the people that I saw there. I was able to print more than one because this, these are printed when I got home because I didn't, I ran out of um film while i was in jamaica so i just made a note of where i would put stuff so that when i came and i got more film that i printed out this is um one of my friends conroy he got he graduated and i yeah i knew him from freshman years all the way up to now this was my mentor she i don't know if you can really see it because that's the thing when there's so much light it doesn't print that well even though in the other picture I printed of it it was better and I still I still have some brown paint under my nails I need to I'm just realizing that I have so much brown paint under my nails but I'll clip my nails later anyway <laughs> so and the, the only problem is when I printed it it cut off some of the faces but these were two of my colleagues as and um, batchmates as well. This is Orville. He works there now. I'm so good to see these guys. I haven't seen them in years, even though I do talk to them online, but I hadn't seen them in years and years. So it was good to, to be there. And we had some issues with the internet, so I had to write down the information and directions to get to the hotel. I didn't end up staying there because I met up with my sister and we um, stayed in the same place, which was great. And um, this is me drinking from a coconut. <laughs> um, yeah, this was me just talking about stuff that I had to do because I have a story that's coming out soon and I had to send off some headshots. I wrote this while I was on the beach, you know, I'm lying on the beach, I rooms on the beach. I decided just to stay with my sister. I was lucky that I was able to cancel the other hotel even though it was beyond the time. Here's a picture from the hotel room. This was the beach right there and then the pool right there. Yeah. and I took pictures with my sister but I know she doesn't really want to be on the internet so I haven't put that there this is me on the beach taking a picture of myself I like this from my stash because it has somewhat of the 
the colors that people associate with Jamaica. Not our colors are black, gold, and green, but we have the red too because of Pan Africanism and Rastafarianism and so on. So that was really that's why sometimes people think that red is in our flag when it's really not. It's just that there's the association with the Ethiopian um, flag as well because of Pan Africanism and Rastafarianism. And so I do have some spaces where I didn't get to fill in because as I said some of these I did after I came back and on the 16th this was the tea that I had and this was the last day because I was leaving on the 17th so um, this was from breakfast it was continental other than and then we have another product I'll put that there because I don't think she wants to be seen shown but that's my sister and this is me and this was from the patty box but i thought it was a great stamp i am 100 percent jamaican made <laughs> so i put that under my own picture and then it's gonna say something about it because this was just a great shot at the end and very interestingly i decided to do that just because it was beautiful but also it's a way of saying We've come to the end of my vacation. The sun has set on it. And more receipts. And I need to say stuff about this because this was travel day. So I have the bus tickets that I took to get down to the airport from Ocherias. And this was what I had to eat um, while I waited in the lounge area. It's Alan Graham. And then I the process was so long there were so many people traveling that day that to get through customs collect your bag I could not make my connecting flight and so I did not make it and I had to rebook and so it was the next day that was the last flight and so funny enough even though normally you have to pay for your hotel because it wasn't the airlines problem um, I guess that they saw my situation, they saw that I'm a student and they really wanted to help and so um, they decided to put me up in a hotel and I stayed at the Hilton which was really nice and I was very grateful to them, these representatives because they saw the situation and they helped because I tried everything, I tried to see family who lived in Atlanta but they weren't there and so it, it worked out so I'm gonna have to make a note about that there this was the next day because I hadn't planned I planned only to be to have this up until the 17th but luckily there were still pages in here so I could represent that so my ticket information um, baggage information here as well boarding pass information and this was the good thing was that I had bought and I don't normally do this but I bought a t-shirt at the airport that said Jamaica and I ended up having to wear it the next day because I did not have any luggage except my carry-on and so I had this in my carry-on and I was so glad that I could have a clean shirt to wear home and this I had in the this is what I had in the morning in the um, hotel, but it didn't taste like anything. It's the first tea that I've had that just didn't taste like anything, just just bland. <laughs> so, but anyway, I did go to Popeye's Chicken and I got that and put. I was gonna put stuff in here, but I didn't end up doing that. And this is me. I ended up having to go straight to school because this is the last this was the last day before school began and I had a ton of things to do that I had planned to do um, on the 18th after I got home and the 17th and rested but things didn't work out that way so I had to just have the Uber driver take me home and I dropped off my luggage have them wait and then go to school and you can see the Cypress Lake in the background and I did get a bunch of stuff done that day and then I started to eat my cheese, <laughs> bun and cheese. And so that this bun and cheese did not last long. I wish I had bought more 
it really did not last long and of course I got tasty patties at the airport and when I went to customs that's one of the things they asked me they're like what are you, what food are you carrying are you carrying patties are you carrying bun and cheese or what are you carrying so they knew the stuff that we always get from Jamaica are you carrying aki and so I told him what I had because those are admissible but I guess I just wanted to know exactly what kind of food I had there yeah so that's basically it for my